Premiere's recently added an awesome new text feature. We can finally add a gradient to our text like this. In this quick tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to do this, and if you wanna learn how to reveal text from behind an object with some motion blur so it looks more realistic, then stay tuned for next week's tutorial where I'm gonna teach you how to do just that. Make sure you've got Premiere updated to the most recent version. Let's hop in there and check this out. I have this time-lapse will shot on my timeline, and since I have this nice chunk of space beside the CN Tower, I'm gonna grab my text tool and fill this space with the word Toronto. Select the text, pop over to the Essential Graphics panel, I'll click on the text drop-down menu and start typing in Bebus, which is a free for commercial use free font that I love. Side note, I've been thinking about making a video sharing my most used favorite free Free for commercial use font, that's like a mouthful. Free for commercial use fonts. If that's something you're interested in, let me know in the comments below. Now, back to the tutorial. Let's adjust the scale. To make our text bigger, for me, 355's working. Grab our selection tool and position the text wherever you'd like. Back in the Essential Graphics panel, double click on the fill box to open it up. And let's click on this drop down menu. And here we have a couple options. So we can change our fill to radial gradient. Personally, I'm not a big fan of that look. Or we can change it to linear gradient. So let's choose that. On the bottom of this color bar here, you have color stops. I'll select this one on the left so that I can change it from white. And I wanna pull a color directly from my clip. So let's grab our eyedropper tool. I'll choose this blue in the CN Tower here. And now the top of our text is the same blue. Let's select the right gradient point, grab the eyedropper tool again, and I'll select this purpley pinkish color from my clip. If we wanna increase the amount this purple shows in our text, we can move the color stop inward to the left. This little diamond here adjusts the color's midpoint. So in my case, adjusting this will affect the midpoint between the color purple and blue. I'm gonna add another color to this gradient, which we can do by clicking on the color bar. And with this new color stop selected, I'll choose white. And now I can move this midpoint around to add some more white to the bottom of my text. And you can adjust your colors to your liking. On the top of your color bar are these opacity stops. I'm just gonna close the color picker window for a second because I wanna move my text down so that it's covering the buildings a bit here to show you an example of when I would adjust the opacity in my gradient. Okay, so I'll go back into fill and now when I select my opacity stop on the right here, I can reduce the opacity and have these buildings that were behind my text start to show through my text. Now, I don't like where the word Toronto's placed in this frame, so I'm gonna undo that. I just wanted to quickly show you that. If you want another opacity stop, you can just click on the color bar and there it is. If you want to remove it, select it and delete. Okay, so let's check this out. Awesome, that's looking really good. And that's how you add a gradient to your text. Remember, if you want to learn how to do that reveal from behind an object with some motion blur, check out next week's tutorial. If you're a filmmaker, check out our over 100 plus other filmmaking tutorials and gear reviews. Subscribe for the latest from us and we'll see you in another video. Thank you.